Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Neil Reviews It Kung Fu Classics. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hi. Uh, welcome to another episode of New Reviews at Kung Fu Classics. Today we are going to review the Kung Fu Classic Rumble in the Bronx. This is a Jackie Chan movie. The only other person in this that I even recognize is uh, Francois Yip. She's uh, in, um, in The Order. I think that's a Netflix thing also. Uh, yeah, everyone else, just stuntmen. It's, I, I'm pretty sure everyone in this is a stuntman. This is not... I guess this is the one that introduced Jackie Chan to America? I guess it does a good job in doing that in the sense that, like, the stunts are incredible and it's so... Uh, it's so uh, parkour, stunty, found... Uh, using found things. Like, oh, there's a... Half a fence over there. I'm gonna pick it up and use it, and then flip over it. And there's a there's a crib. I'm gonna jump in the crib and then kick through the things and then pop out of the crib, like all that kind of stuff. All that kind of Jackie Chan goodness. That's all in this. Not a ton of great actiony fight stuff. A ton of great chases and a ton of a ton of stuff. It's so much, so many stunts. And then you know after the credits they show all the injuries and stuff. Yeah, it's very typical Jackie Chan, what we know of Jackie Chan. But um, as far as like an American Jackie Chan movie, like nothing really touches Rush Hour. Like that really is like primo Jackie Chan for America. I think Dragons Forever is probably the ultimate Jackie Chan movie as far as um, watching him fight, the humor, the stunt work, the chases, the the fast action and comedic elements. Jackie Chan moves to the Bronx to help his uncle. It's always a martial artist moves to America to help an uncle with a restaurant or grocery store. It's always. So he's actually, he comes to America to go to his uncle's wedding. And then while he's here, would he mind helping out? They're selling the grocery store. Would you mind helping make the transition smooth? So he agrees. He makes everything worse because he gets mixed up with the local gang and there's like a big they, there's a fight all the fights the local gangs out to kill him oh real gangsters uh have like a like a, a diamond heist in the background like the low level gang member he he finds the diamonds and then he hides them in like Jackie Chan's building and the neighbor's wheelchair you know the things all the things that come from that come from it yeah it's great it's fun like i said not a lot of fights there's fights not a ton it's a lot of chases it's mostly chases and stunts oh it's fun it's real fun um ceramic dragon for fun and get a skull bobblehead for story i know i'm usually lenient on the story with uh, these kung fu films, but this was a little more convoluted than it had to be. I'm gonna go Skull Bobblehead. And... For fights... Yeah, sorry Jackie, I'm gonna go Skull Bobblehead on that too. It just, there weren't enough, and then the ones that were, weren't, you know, epic enough. It was a... Alright, well thanks for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Please hit like, leave a comment, that'd be great. Uh, tell me what you do or don't like about uh, these reviews. Listen, just hit like. I appreciate that. That's, that's what we need in our time of these stressful times or whatever the commercials say. Please check out the 7-inch on enjoytheriderecords.com or stream it on Spotify and Apple Music. Let Sirius know 
you want to hear the seven inch on Sirius. I guess that would help. All right. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching. You want to use it? What is it? It's the thing.